Charles has carefully observed Harry's movements. Delay, edit, then release are just a public relations ploy. Hello friends and welcome to the breaking news of the royal renegade couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. One royal analyst believes that Prince Harry's planned memoirs should cause King Charles great concern because it will act as a hand grenade thrown directly at Buckingham Palace. Since the Duke announced the Penguin House Publishing, fans have been waiting with bated breath for Prince Harry's book, which he has promised would be a true and authentic personal account of his life. Before the passing of Queen Elizabeth II on September the 8th, it was anticipated that the book would be published in November, just in time for Christmas. The book, which provides a first-person narrative of the prince's life, might harm the new king and Camilla, queen consort. This is according to royal critic Daniela Elsa, who writes for news.com.au. She said... Prince Harry's latest book should worry King Charles a great deal. She went on to say, In addition to the Viking-sized war axe he has with his family, the Duke has a literal lifetime's worth of discoveries, dirt and secrets to draw from. Miss Elsa says it is possible that this book may wind up becoming the gunpowder plot two. It would be a grave blow to the new Carolean age if Harry's book levelled new, venomous charges against his father and or the palace apparatus, such as bad parenting, general neglect or mistreatment. The 72-year-old monarch cannot afford to lose valuable months or years fighting public relations battles or attempting to discredit another family relative who is busy telling the world what a terrible person he is. According to a royal source, one passage of the book in particular might cause major problems for King Charles. It is anticipated that the book will provide readers with a glimpse into Prince Harry's life throughout the years, especially his formative years when he witnessed the dissolution of his late mother and father's marriage and Princess Diana's untimely death. According to some sources, the prince will reportedly discuss his father's extramarital affair with Camilla, which is thought to have affected Harry's friendship with Charles. And according to the Daily Beast, the possibility of Harry launching a full-fledged attack on the monarchy is raising concerns amongst royal insiders. Apparently, Harry met with a private person when he was in London, and this was not a member of the palace staff. Now, this information is according to Valentin Lowe, who is a royal editor of The Times and the author of the explosive book called Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown. This mystery person apparently kindly advised Harry to spare his family some criticism in the book. Page Six was informed in July by a publishing source that the book is juicy and that some of the information should worry his family. According to some, King Charles may see a wave of negative news soon due to the impending new season of the series The Crown and Harry's much-awaited book. The new series of The Crown explores the King's marriage to Diana and has faced pleas to be delayed. But Netflix is continuing with the scheduled premiere. The Diana Chronicles and the Palace paper author Tina Brown has raised the prospect that the book should never be published. At a United Kingdom literary festival earlier this month, Tina Brown said, The Sussexes are now in this bind where they've taken all this money and Harry has made this book deal where he's supposed to spill everything out about his horrible life as a royal. But now he's actually tortured about it because he understands that there is no way back if he does it. I've always believed that at some time a deal will be reached requiring Charles to repay the money in order to prevent Harry from publishing his book. These sources have made the royal audience more and more distrustful of Harry's memoirs. 
Many people believe that the public relations team blindly bombed the media to overpromote his empty memoir. As true royal fans, they strongly believe in the purity of the British royal family and incumbent King Charles. One representative said, Just get on with it. Get the book published. The speculation of what's in it is driving us mad. The royal family should only be disturbed if there are truths in there that tarnish their images. Because if some of the previous speculations about Charles's behaviour are true, then it is not Harry who should be ashamed, but Charles. But if indeed the book is full of lies, there is a legal system that can be used and the royal family has access to a very strong legal firm. End of story. But... If there is some stuff in there that could cause the end of Charles's reign, then I suspect that Harry's life is nearing its used and sell-by date. I very much doubt that the firm has access to rub out an irritant, hoping that the public will soon forget who they were. I believe that King Charles has absolutely nothing to worry about. I think that many of us now fully realise that he is very much in love with Camilla and in reality he should have been allowed to marry her in the first place. He was not initially given permission to marry Camilla and he was not encouraged to follow his heart. Most families have problems to face one way or another and the tragedy of Diana is the very public cross that Charles has to carry. Now with that said, Charles has behaved with great dignity since the Meghan of Montecito started their unnecessary and necrotic attacks on history with which much of the nation seems to have an extremely unhealthy and schmalzy relationship with. With the additional warning of one more peep from either Harry or Meghan, there will be no kiddie titles, no more Sussexes and no more line of succession. There will be no council of state and no further inheritances in persona non grata in the kingdom forever. We all know that these two are not consistent with their facts and they make everything up and then blow it up as they go along, depending on who is listening. It would be a decent fiction and nothing else. So does Harry's so-called memoir have anything very big and bold in it? He himself doesn't know what is the truth and what is stretched fiction and perceived as being wrong. We must remember that Harry himself is undergoing therapy. He cannot work out what he wants to be, where he is heading and define his own destiny with all these extravagant privileges at his feet to make it work easily for him. What a waste of time. It is like throwing pearls at a pig. Some may say that Harry's complaints come from a place of jealousy. He is envious of William because he is the heir and he himself is just the spare. Yes, Harry blames his father and the royal protocol, but being immature, it has been easy for Meghan to manipulate and influence his thoughts. The book will attack who Meghan dislikes the most, and I bet my bottom dollar that this is going to be Catherine as well as William. No matter what Harry says in his memoir and in any docuseries with Netflix, he will be on the losing end and will be served with the consequences. While King Charles III will be hurt over the inappropriateness of his son, He and the royals are absolutely done with having to deal with Harry and Meghan Markle. But there is no way back now. There are no more opportunities for reconciliation and no more privileges for his children. This is the price Harry and Meghan will pay for declaring war on the House of Windsor. Game over. Enjoy your exile. Now what do you think about royal concerns about Harry's hollow memoir? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you have found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it. Now thank you for watching this newsletter. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.